Welcome to Todd's Two Minute Tech Tip Tuesday, brought to you by Big Beard Battery. Visit BigBeardBattery.com. Go ahead and hit the subscribe button. That way you don't miss anything. Hey, we're coming up on the winter solstice, which is the shortest day of the year. And we're about to start heading into winter. So the question t typically comes up is how do we winterize batteries and what's the effect of cold weather on any type of battery? So um, to begin with, I'll talk about both lithium and lead acid batteries. Of course, with lead acid, you got gel and AGM. What are the effects of cold weather? Well, with the lead acid, gel, and AGM, cold weather, and it all depends on temperature, but the colder we get, 32 degrees, below 32 degrees, getting into zero degrees, we have a problem with um, lead, ac uh, lead acid batteries, right? Performance altogether drops, charging slows down, and of course, discharge slows down as well. So around 32 degrees to zero degrees, you lose about 20% of the capacity you normally would in warm temperatures. So it's not great to have these batteries in cold weather, okay? Now, there are some benefits to lead acid batteries, that is the self-discharge does tend to slow down. But what we don't wanna do often is to use those batteries in extreme cold weather if we don't have to. Okay, because we do lose the performance, and if we try and use them as we typically do, we're going to end or shorten the life of those batteries. So, uh, keep that in mind that the electrochemical response, you know, the electrochemical uh, activation that takes the stored energy out of the battery and gets delivered to whatever load you have, slows down because, of course, the temperature is cold, the battery is cold. Lithium batteries affected the same way, right? Now, different chemical response that takes place, but they are too are shortened in the performance, specifically around um, the charging effects. Now the discharging drops as well. So we try not to use the batteries in extreme cold weather. So the first thing we wanna do is maybe store these batteries in a warmer climate if we can find a way to insulate the batteries and prevent the cold weather from getting there in the first place, okay? But if you can't, couple things that you can do. Like I said, if you can limit um, what you can uh, limit the use of it, but if you're still storing a lead acid gel or AGM battery in cold weather, this is how you store it. Charge it up as much as possible. Charge it up to 100% if you can and apply a trickle charger to it. Run it through the winter fully charged with a trickle charge on it. If it is not fully charged, it has a greater propensity to freeze. Electrolyte inside can freeze and damage this, you know, damage the battery itself. Okay, lead acid gel, AGM, charge it up to 100%, put a trickle charger on it. Lithium batteries, if you can't store those in a warmer location, if the batteries don't have a heating pad, and quite honestly, even a heating pad, which is typically at the bottom of the cells, and you have all of this surface area exposed to cold weather, even a heating pad may not be able to keep up with the super cold weather. Here's what we do there, okay? Again, limit your use of it. Try not to use that lithium battery in super cold weather if you can't insulate it from the cold weather, okay? If you're storing it, we're gonna do just the exact opposite of a lithium battery. We're gonna drain it to about between 40 and 50%. Drain it to 40 or 50%. Don't add a trickle charger, leave it alone. If you have just a disconnect, disconnect it. If you have a big beard battery, just simply hit the reset button, hold it down until it turns off. You also know that reset button is an on off button. Turn it off, that turns off the BMS inside. Those cells sitting at 40% capacity can weather most all cold weathers out there, even from you people up north, way up where the Northmen are, right? That cold weather, if that battery is in the off position or not being used, and it's sitting at about 40% capacity, not gonna hurt it at all. What we don't wanna do is store it at 100% capacity, okay? Couple reasons, right? So inside there, having that stored, those cells are gonna be expanded because there's a, um, th these things are completely charged, there's a, there's a reaction that's taking place, and of course that can, that can really denigrate the structural integrity of the cells. So lithium batteries, again, drop it to about 40%, do what you can to cut all parasitic loads to it, bam, turn it off if you can with the big beard battery. If you're still over here uh, in ancient times with your lead acid gel or AGM battery, keep it fully charged as much as you can, add a trickle charger. There's your tech tip. Oh, by the way, Merry Christmas to you. Hey, if you've got questions about batteries or want to go ahead and put in a solar system, but need some guidance, head over to bigbeardbattery.com, fill out the solar design form, and one of our certified solar experts will give you a call and get you started.